Welcome to Perry County School District 32. Dan Oberkirsch, the Director of Buildings and Grounds, and his crew have a constant to-do list managing the 116-acre campus. The district is home to five schools with a dozen structures for a total of more than 570,000 square feet under roof. The first building on campus, commonly referred to as the Old Senior High, was constructed in 1938 and now houses the central office. The newest building is currently under construction and in fall 2023 will be home to Perry County Middle School. District 32 also maintains three athletic fields, nearly a mile of roadways, two tornado shelters, and a biomass plant. All of that adds up to a lot of maintenance and repairs. Thing with our mechanical systems, so our, our HVAC, air conditioning, heat, uh, we pretty well take care of the lion's share of that. Um, the uh, plumbing, um, we take care of plumbing, sewer, uh, and uh, roofs. Um, we don't necessarily make the repairs, but we have to investigate where the leak is coming from, find the leak, so the guy, so I can hire somebody to come in and make the repair on the roof. We, we do a little bit of flooring. You know, if we have tiles coming up in the hallway, we're scraping up the gl old glue, putting new tile down to make the patch. Uh, we work on furniture for the schools. Uh, it's a full-time job to keep the lawns on a large campus neatly trimmed, a job that John Lewis spends his summers doing. We mow the campus. Um, if it's got grass and it's on our property, we're mowing it. Where the old playground out front of the elementary school used to be, we finally got uh, all the wood chips removed out of it and we seeded and strawed it so it'll just look like a big green space. Uh, we upgraded the middle school gym lights to LED this uh, past school year and the old senior high lights um, to LED as well. The maintenance department also takes on special projects to support the learning environment at District 32. We uh, added a second greenhouse to the career center. We installed uh, two trash compactors at the elementary and the primary school. So. Mr. Oberkirsch has six employees in his department, including his administrative assistant, April Weibrecht, and the custodial manager, Mike Gilmer. Glenn's really good at fabricating stuff. Uh, I call him my farmer of the group, so uh, uh, give him some duct tape and bailing wire and he can put it back together normally. Um, <laughs> uh, and then uh, Rick is my uh, HVAC guy. Um, he typically works on uh, uh, HVAC systems. Also is very good with construction and plumbing. Matt and Tara, Tara really likes doing electrical work. Matt really likes doing plumbing work. Um, and then, uh, they all have their, they all have their, uh, specialties and then they, but it, you know, if we have to all come together as a group and do one thing, we work well doing that too. So, um, and they're all willing to learn a new, a new trade. Uh, we demoed out the old, uh, fifth grade center that, uh, is over on the other end of campus. Um, the back end of it, we're turning into, uh, I, I called it the cheernasium. It's a space for our cheerleaders to practice in because they've always kind of been uh, put wherever we had room for them and uh, never really had an official home. So um, they're going to have a home now. I mentioned we do crosswalk duty. Uh, that, takes, that takes time, which is something we added, uh, I believe, last year um, just because I... Uh, seen an instance several times where students about got hit or almost ran over and I just said enough's enough we're going to do this make it safer around here. Operating such a large plant presents challenges including difficulty in filling open positions in the custodial department. Mr. Oberkirsch and his team often stay late to make sure that public areas of the schools are clean and safe for students and staff. It's a real struggle. I get phone calls and emails constantly about the condition of things. Um, we just don't have the people to go around to continue to do what we're what we're expected to do. So it's getting to the point where you have to either start trimming out 
some of the job titles and somebody else is going to have to take over some of the responsibility or we're going to have to figure out a way to get some people hired in this district. This is not just here. I mean, I, I talk to a lot of folks and they're in the same shoes as, as I am. Despite these challenges, Mr. Oberkirsch and his team are proud to serve District 32 and they enjoy their work. We're a pretty fun bunch to uh, get along with. We're all kind of uh, family. Um, you know, if somebody was moving out of their house and said that I need help, I guarantee you probably 90% of us would be there on that said date. Um, we just, uh, I really enjoy coming to work every day and working with these guys.